there they are! You did what had to be done with the Tasker. You said you'd avenge her. And you did. The Tasker can rest now. Even if I wavered in the moment. And it's not a question of her being a threat or not. If you believe, I'm sure you'll see her again. I do. And I shall. Surprises here. But your shoulders separated. If you come with me to sick bay, we can get you fixed up in no time. Uh thank you. I'll find you afterwards. You two, check in at your stations. This thing isn't over yet. Making us proud out there, Diaz. The lower decks don't get a lot of glory. Well, I'm just getting started. She was a good little escape pod. I bet I want another ride like that anytime soon. Tell me, did any crew from the Zelti survive? Well, since the Lydian ships have no escape pods, I think it was just us. I see. I thought so. I had a partner on board. After this mission, she and I were meant to... Does it matter? All that matters now is making the Takan pay for what they've done. We'll stop them. I promise. Diaz. Yeah? Did you see our people over there? Miranda? Kapoor? Hauser? We saw Miranda and Kapoor, but they're bioformed. As far as I know, there's no way to undo it. It means they're not our friends anymore. If they attack us? We'll have to stop them. No matter what it takes. Yeah. I guess we have to be ready for that. I can't believe it, but I'm actually looking forward to seeing Chobok. Not that I'd expect this kind of welcome from him, but I can just imagine the look on his face. You know what? I want to see him too. It'll be nice to get one piece of normalcy. I'm sure we can count on him for that. I can't believe it! You evaded the Takan, ejected their warp cores, and lived to talk about it! That about sums it up. They're gonna be teaching this at the Academy for years to come. I mean it! Everybody's gonna learn how you pulled it off! At the Academy? I wouldn't know about that. After this, you'll probably get a personal invitation to show them how it's done. I heard about Bell. Is Miranda? As far as we know, she's still out there. Well, I know Captain Rydek will do her best to get her back. Hold on. Rydek? What about Captain Solano? He was turned into a Takan. Rydek had to take over. She's a hell of an officer, but none of us have been up against anything like this. No one has. Not in half a million years. I guess there's never a dull moment around here, huh? You're telling me it's not always like this? Not if we can help it. <clears throat> Talk to you later. It is agreeable to see you again. Is that so? It was by no means a certainty that you would return to duty here. It is agreeable to see you as well, sir. 
I concur. You should know your absence has left engineering terribly short-handed. During your sojourn, this department has fallen unacceptably behind schedule. On both regular and irregular duties. There's been a whole lot of irregularity going around. Seems like you could use some help around here. We're ready to go to work. I'd like to catch my breath for at least a few minutes, Carter. Normally, I would assign you to one of the many pressing repair tasks. But, given your experience on board the Zeldi, I have suggested you join the senior staff briefing as we determine our next course of action. You can commence your maintenance shift afterwards. I tended to an Illidian earlier. Major Sarlet Arminta? Ah, yes. I met him at the negotiations. I never would have imagined I'd be here, on the same ship, working together with our oppressors. But now that I am, I can imagine a future where the Hotari and Illidians are no longer enemies. I always hoped for peace, but it seems so far away. Well, if there's any way I can help, let me know. I'll take you up on that. It's good to have the support of a Starfleet captain, I'm sure. Oh, it's coming along nicely. Thank you, Tylus. I'll take it from here. We're almost done. I have to brief Ambassador Spock in a few minutes. Ambassador Spock can wait. You have some fences to mend. Personally, I'm against the needless destruction of innocent life forms, so I'm glad you transported the Taconian crystals onto the ship. But Lieutenant Bedrosian obviously feels otherwise. And right now, you need the full support of your bridge crew. Being an effective leader requires trust, but an issue as divisive as this can create discord. I still need and value contrary opinions. I don't want everyone agreeing with me when they feel otherwise. Oh, you'll know when Lieutenant Bedrosian doesn't agree with something. She's not shy about making her opinion known. It's been a chaotic last few days for everyone. You need to name a new first officer in preparation for what's coming. You'll have to work to regain Lieutenant Bedrosian's trust, but if she's removed from consideration, it comes down to Westbrook or Ermot. Obviously, there are pros and cons with each, but ultimately, the decision is yours. Commander Westbrook has seniority and was hoping to be Captain Solano's first officer. Ermot has the knowledge and experience that makes him more than qualified. At the moment, I'm leaning toward selecting Commander Westbrook as the new first officer. That would be an excellent choice, considering your history. The crew would respect the fact you chose someone likely to challenge your opinions and present a different point of view. You're as good as new. Thank you, Dr. Duvall. <laughs> Always nice to have a captive audience. You really shouldn't keep Ambassador Spock waiting. Captain. I'll meet you inside. I'm here to officially tender my resignation from the crew of the USS Resolute. I cannot in good conscience continue to serve aboard this ship. Not while the interests of the enemy take precedent over the safety of the crew. Listen, Lieutenant. I understand how you feel, and I respect your opinion. You're one of the most valuable officers on the bridge. Which is why I cannot accept your resignation. I'm sorry, Captain, but I expected as much. Which is why I already submitted my letter of resignation to Starfleet Command. My door is always open if you change your mind. We'll have Ambassador Spock via subspace shortly. Thank you, Mr. Armand. I'll notify Lieutenant Bedrosian we're about to begin. That won't be necessary. Petty officers Diaz and Edsalar have first-hand experience with our adversaries. I thought it advantageous for them to join this briefing. I understand this is unusual. 
But I trust you have no objections? Talk about moving up in the world. These are unusual times, Mr. Chobak. In all seriousness, what Diaz and Edsalar accomplished aboard the Zeldi is nothing short of remarkable. They're both to be commended, not only for surviving against incredible odds, but for helping our efforts against these Scions. You know, Carter deserves most of the credit. None of us would have made it without his help. We'd all be bioformed by this point. Well, I could say the same thing about Edsalar here. She deserves as much of the credit as I do. It's like a mutual admiration society. Ambassador Spock is ready for you. Put him through. Captain Rindek, your recent change in station certainly warrants mention, and I trust you to faithfully execute your expanded duties. Right now, we must keep our attention on the clear and present danger that lies ahead. The Takan and their warship. The closest populations are the Hotari and Elidian systems, and they are likely the first targets for mass bioforming. After that, lies Federation space. I have advised Starfleet Command to send an impromptu battle group to intercept and assist you, but that will take time. You are our first line of defense. And with our shield algorithms compromised, we are at a great disadvantage. Of course, you know that as well as I do. I'm glad to hear the battle group is en route, Ambassador. With what we're up against, we're gonna need all the help we can get. And you will have it. Remember, our strength is drawn from our ability to work together towards a common goal. Have we made any progress in finding a way to defend ourselves from the Aphelion's bioforming weapon? Currently, our shields will not protect us, but I am compiling all of the information the away team gathered on the Zeldi and cross-referencing it against our own, as well as Portal 6-3's methods. The away team is sitting right here. They survived without getting bioformed, so we know it's possible. So, what's the secret? How do we defend ourselves? Is there a weakness we can exploit? Something we can do to avoid getting bioformed. Well, simple as it sounds, the best thing to do is to not get caught, whether it's one-on-one -on -one or the whole ship. We avoided the Takan as much as we could. But we saw the bioforming, and there's not much you can do. I found something that might help. It's too soon to say for sure, but we've had some promising indications that Deridium can delay the bioforming process. Deridium? It's not a cure. It's not going to bring anyone back we've already lost. But, Deridium is a cell stabilizer, so it has the potential to slow down the onset of physical and mental changes, if not entirely prevent them. And, it might be the only ship in the fleet with this much Deridium on hand. You say that it slows the process, but this doesn't actually stop the Takan from taking over, does it? Correct. I can't be 100% certain. But it appears this is only a short-term solution. Also, it requires a much larger dose to be effective. We don't have enough Deridium on board to protect the whole crew. We barely have enough to protect everyone in this room. Sounds like it won't do us much good, then. The use case I'd suggest is that it, it could buy a little time for an officer or a small group to complete a task or mission. But it has to be taken at the moment of exposure to the bioforming mechanism. Prepare a delivery method for this... remedy. That raises the question. What is the mission? Assuming the Aphelion uses shields of some kind, I don't expect it will be easy to bypass their defenses. We may not be able to block the Aphelion's attack either. But if they do strike, we know their weapon uses transporter technology. We might be able to backtrack their signal path like we did to evacuate Captain Rydek from Tau. Exactly. We could send an away team onto the Aphelion. So we could destroy it from the inside. I'm not exactly sure how, but... So it's like jujitsu. We use their attack and turn it against them. That's the idea. We'll keep thinking on it. I'd rather not have to take a direct hit to punch back. There might be some other way we can turn their strength into a weakness. We'll need to prepare a boarding party if it comes to that. 
Petty Officers Ed Salar and Diaz are the logical choices to lead any away mission to the Aphelion. They have already crippled one enemy ship. If anyone can do so again, it is them. This isn't like the engineering mission that took you to the Zeldi. Do you really have some special insights that a tactical team wouldn't? Doesn't the fact that we're here speak for itself? Just surviving won't be enough this time. We found that only a Takan can operate their technology to its fullest. So, unless we want to try to do this with one hand tied behind our backs, we're definitely going to need an assist from this portal guy. I like that even less. Like it or not, that's the truth. Yes. Portal should be part of the away team. There's no question in my mind. If this is the necessary course of action, I support it. I will compile all the latest data on the tricorders, just in case. In the meantime, I want you working on ways we can combat the Takan tech. Shields, weapons, anything we can use. Yes, Captain. Anything else, Ambassador? I know this matter is in capable hands. Hold the line as best you can. Help is on the way. Thank you. I have faith in all of you to meet this moment with the urgency it requires. I expect all of us to give it everything we've got. Thank you, Petty Officers Diaz and Edzalar. You're dismissed. While we have a quorum of senior staff, there is a procedural element we need to take care of. The Resolute Command Codes must be transferred to Captain Rydek for control of the ship. Of course. Computer, transfer all command codes to Captain Jara Rydek. Voice authorization, Ermot, Echo 4 Lima. Voice authorization, Duval. Beta, 2, Yankee. Voice authorization, Westbrook. Alpha 7 Tango. Awaiting your authorization, Captain. Voice authorization, Rydek, Charlie, 5, Yankee. Captain's codes transferred. The updated command structure is incomplete. Please designate a new first officer. Who is the new first officer? Please designate a new first officer. It is an honor and a pleasure to name Commander Westbrook as my new first officer. Thank you, Captain. You made the right choice. Congratulations, Commander. It's long overdue. I know we've had our differences, but I can't tell you how much I appreciate this. Computer, Commander Westbrook is the new first officer of the USS Resolute. Awaiting voice authorization. Voice authorization, Westbrook. Alpha 7 Tango. Authorization is now complete. Now, if you'll excuse me, there's work to be done. Nicely done. I think that went well. Captain, could I have a word with you? Give me a minute. Look, I respect your decision, Captain. Commander Westbrook has seniority, and I can understand why you might have felt pressure to promote him. What I can't understand is why you would choose someone so clearly unsuited for the position. It's the very reason why Captain Solano chose you over him. Because he knew Westbrook, his first officer, would be disastrous. I know you're disappointed, but I trust his experience. And I need to rely on him now more than ever. But that's just it. We can't afford to make any mistakes. And that's my concern with Commander Westbrook. Maybe I've had it wrong this whole time. I thought we've had an excellent working relationship almost from the moment you first arrived. Yes, I was insulted when you didn't trust me with the information about Captain Solano being compromised, but... I've always supported you, which is certainly more than you can say about Westbrook. He was always against you, especially with regard to Captain Solano. 
Look, I'll be honest. I can't do this without your help. You're one of the best officers we've got, and I need you by my side. Otherwise, we don't have a chance against Galvin. It's as simple as that. And I'll be there when you need me. Just like I always have. <laughs>